Dr. Moshe Lewis, uh, Music and Medicine. So I wanted to start with a small walk down memory lane. I don't know if you can remember these types of things, <laughs> but uh, this goes all the way back to uh, New York. Yeah, that was, where, where was this? This was uh, WBLS, so I came, I was just starting to think about going into communications, and you were my inspiration, so oh, just wanted to show days. you that. Yeah. I want to talk about just that pivot throughout your whole career, a door closed, a window open. You've been so comfortable being willing to take that chance to try different things, whether with The Wave and Dave Kaz, WBLS, all the different types of stations you've been with. Just talk to us about the importance of not being so willing to say no. Yeah, well, you know, you have to be willing to try different things. And, yeah. and then broadcasting, it's going to happen to you whether you want it to or not. Yes. You know, because nothing is going to last forever. It's right. a very transient type of business. Sure. It's remarkable to me that I've been able to survive for 47 years, you know, working at market number one and market number two. That's not sure. bad. Absolutely. No, I've had some great jobs, but, yeah. you know, you have to be able to pivot. I mean, I've done everything from R&B to jazz, a short time on country. It was right. not yes. my yeah. idea. I did a, <laughs> I did a little rock yes. radio as yes. well, you know, so mm -hmm. it's good to be versatile. And yes. I like talking to people, yes. you know, so interviewing and public affairs and that sort of thing has always been interesting. Absolutely. Talk to us about inspiration for a young lady that's coming up in the field of communication. Just some of the key pearls that she may need to keep in mind because it's an ever-changing field, as you said. Yeah, I think being flexible, yes. you know, being willing to to, to try something different, sure. you know, so that you have more value. Sure. Uh, be skilled in more than one thing. Yes. You know, don't ever buttonhole, pigeonhole yourself like that. Yes. And then finally, I would say, don't ask, don't get. Ask yes. for what you want. It took me a long time to learn that, yes. and when I finally did, right. it has amazed me how sure. many things people say yes to Absolutely. that you ask, if you only ask. Sure. What are just some of the key moments or opportunities you really enjoy? Do you feel kind of represent some highlights in your career? Well, um, I like to be able to represent my black community in yes. every chance I can, and I've been at a lot of stations where I have been one of a minority mm -hmm. of people who are black in, right. a, in, a, in a space, yes. and so I like to use the power of the microphone to yes promote our community and to promote the people in our community who are achievers. So I would say that um, my work with uh, Justice Now yes. on, on, on the wave was one of my favorite things, a 20-part series yes. that was in response to the George Floyd murder, yes. where we got a chance to really dig into systemic racism and all the ways that it comes into play, and also making waves, which we would do every year for Black History Month, sure. where I get to honor people who are doing living black history. And I see right. a bunch of these people here, like Connie Anderson, I mean, they're all over the place, Absolutely. because these are the people who are making waves today. And those two things things I think are big highlights. Sure, absolutely. So that's great transition to us being here today and the importance of the organization and what they're doing. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. We exactly. appreciate your career, all you've done, all you've meant to so many people, your voice, your time, you've given selflessly over the years. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you. Appreciate thank you. It. Absolutely. Appreciate Thanks. it. It's an honor. Yeah. Thank you. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, sure, absolutely.